The yes you were talking about yesterday. Yes. It 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 grew strong in May, and uh, now it's very much here. Yes. There's no doubt here. Here is the fear. Yes. And so, you just sat there and realized that I've been trying to figure out who am I. Yes. But I am no who. I am no one. So that just scared me even more. So I had to put up my hand because I was about to run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. If the mind realizes I am no one, then fear will come. When the heart knows I am no one, fear is gone. If the mind realizes I am no one, if it says I am no one, I am nothing, <gasps> fear. Oh my God! How can I live? How can I? Oh my God! Oh my God! This is a terrible to be, to be nobody. Yeah. But when the heart knows I am no one, <sighs> all pressures are gone, and I have never been anyone. I have only ever been this. All this is watched uh, in me. Of course, there is a feeling, of course. There is a time when we speak, yes, when I was 17, I went to this place and I met these people, and so on and so on. So these stories may continue to be told, but they have a new purpose, maybe as a facilitator for a higher directing or sharing or something. But they are not in service to an ego anymore. You see. It's not the slate is wiped clean, so therefore there's a blank. And like, oh that never existed. No. Memory will still be here. You will still be able to relate to family and so on. All of this can be there. It is still consciousness. You didn't become unconscious. You see, but the position where we have been placed, from being centered in a mind to being centered as the heart, is very different. The mind contains somehow the image of who we think we are, and how we should be, and what we should become, or something like this. And this has been a game of developing a persona, an identity, and transacting from the position of this identity. So in real seeing, it doesn't need this. It doesn't need the historical and hysterical being. Something sees through all of that, understand that. And it's not that you become like a fool because you don't have your mind. We mind and identity is highly overrated. You think without your mind you are a kind of zombie and walking on the street, oh very Buddha like, but useless. And these kind of strange stories, bogeyman stories, keeps us in avoidance. Like you know, it may be too costly 
at least let me stay with the devil I know. All types of nonsense, you see. But here, while you're here, we are having some some clues. Something inside is enjoying a self taste, and that self taste allows us to be more open to say, Phew, kind of. This is not a place I can know with my mind to study, but there is a knowingness here. There is something that is a harmony, an expansiveness, a natural rightness. And yes, yes. Mind wants to say, but be careful. You know, you cannot see where it's going to go, and suddenly you might just crash or something. But something goes. No, I've heard your voice before. But this is fresh. Yes. Take the risk. Say yes. And your yes, it will bring up fear. Of course, it didn't give you fear, but it. Exposes fear and allow the fear that has been hidden to come to the surface to expose. Then, only when it's exposed, you can see, okay, so that's what's been sucking my power. If there's an earthquake in the ocean, lots of bubbles will come to the surface. The bubbles, they don't go down. They hit the surface, they pop, and they vanish. Something like that must be happening also. Some things which were not brought to light before will start to come to the surface. It will feel quite fizzy. But there is a presence which cannot pop, and is becoming more clear to itself. And out of that, Self recognition or self recognizing, a surrender takes place. A welcoming, a yes comes to that. So bear the momentary fear. It's being burped out. It's not being created. It's being burped up. And sometimes the beingness has to vomit out some things. Nobody enjoys a vomit. But behind is the clear space uh, of being. Hand over your existence entirely to this, to this seeing, to this adventure, this exploration into the true nature of oneself. Don't hold back. You will know the time for yourself. Mind will always give you an excuse to say, Well, it's not the right time, and I've got to clear all this up first. But let all this happen inside your yesness. And if you feel a burning, welcome this burning. You know, sometimes we have like a fever. You have a fever, and everything, your whole life, is being lived in the fever state for a while. When you're thirsty, it's inside a fever, and you'll drink your your drink. When you're hungry, you'll eat in the fever state. When you send your emails, it's from the fever state. When you greet your friends, it's inside the fever state. You don't have to think about everything is inside a fever. And in a way, it's like you again come into the whole the fever state of your own being. And everything you do is coming from this being. It's happening out of this being. You see, you don't have to think, okay, uh, I must get into the fever state. No, it is there. You're consumed. Your whole being is the fever state. You are the fever and the weakness of the fever, even, and the activities that go on, like that. So, whether some feelings of fear come, and it's natural, it's a good sign, because if it was there, and undetected, that would not be good. Now something brings up the fear. You can look and see what is the message in the fear. Like what is it fear of? If you wish, 
if you're able to, you may just see it just as a kind of another phenomenon and say, okay, that's coming up now, but right now the energy is staying more just in the state of presence. Let the fear happen. You see? But if, you're, if the fear sensation is taking up too much attention, then at least go to it and look at it. Look at the fear and, and see what is it about. Okay, fear, what have you to say? Oh, the fear is that somehow I'm going to vanish, I feel like I'm going to die. Because this is quite common. On the periphery of freedom, the fear of death comes. You're going to die. You go further, you're going to die. You see, you're going to die. And then, oh, I don't want to die. Because something smells like a death, but it's a dying of what is not true. It's a dying of death itself, is dying. But in the mind, it's interpreted like, oh, I'm going to die, and there's some confusion. So it takes courage somehow. And you're going to grow strong, because to be free, you have to be strong. And the strength you already have, you only have to call it up. You don't have to go and lift some, make spiritual muscles. It's there. When you say yes, that is strength. When you say yes, let whatever happen, happen. But I found you, and you found me. And I stay here. Then let all things burn, if they must burn. Such is courage, such is love. Hmm. So it is good. Let this burning be. Don't try and salvage anything from this fire. But keep your hands together in this fire. Say, thank you for burning me. Leave nothing unburnt. Feel like that. And the mood will change. Nadir Bahrugan Yukho